opening statements. Just yeah. okay. We're ready. Let's rock and roll. Yes, ma'am. Welcome to the press conference for the LSU Tigers. We're joined by head coach Kim Mulkey and student athlete Angel Reese. A reminder to the media that the locker rooms following today's game are not open. We will begin with questions for Angel, and then we'll take questions for Coach Mulkey. Chessa. Chessa Boucher with NBC, NBC 33 in Baton Rouge. Angel, have you ever been a part of a game like that one? No, I've never been a part of a game like that. But of course, you know, two heavy hitters, that we, we going to battle. Um, we're not scared of them. They're not scared of us. We came in and know what we had. They came in and know what they had. and. It, it turned up and went ways that we didn't want it to go, but I'm, I'm proud of this team. We fought, we fought, we fought with five, maybe six healthy players, if that. Um, just know we're not scared, and we're at a place right now that I'm proud of, and I'm happy to where we are right now. Corey? Yeah, Angel, to that point, I, I wanted to get you to expound a little bit more on, on how this team, as shorthanded as you guys were and how beat and banged up as you guys were, this is the number one team in the country, and you guys gave them everything that they could handle again today. We're not going to make that an excuse. We're not scared of South Carolina, and I'm going to repeat that. We're not scared of South Carolina. And a lot of people are scared of them, and we came in and battled and battled and battled and battled and battled to the end. And, of course, we came up short, but we'll see, we'll see them again or whoever will see them again. But I'm just happy, and I'm, I'm going to acknowledge my teammates first because Janae, Aaliyah, they came off the bench and did big things for us. Michaela, she was frustrated because she had to do minimum numbers and minimum time, but she came out there and did what she did, and she defended, and she played as hard as she could. So being able to be proud of this team, I'm not going to give them all the credit because I know how hard we played. We played hard. We played tough. We did whatever it took to win, and sadly we came up short, but I'm happy where we are right now, and anybody seeing us moving forward should be scared. Chessa. You touched on a minute, Aaliyah, big time minutes from her, and she wasn't scared either. What did you see from her? I told her she the, she the real foreign baddie around here. Uh, Aaliyah, the freshman, and her confidence coming into this game, I told her, you can bang with Camila Cardoza. You, you match up with her and keep doing and keep banging and being confident. Every day in practice, she going against me. And understanding how she has gotten better over the past couple months and her confidence building and her being, being conditioned and finishing around a basket and not being scared. I'm super proud of where she's at and her confidence just continues to build. In the back. Reed Darcy with the Advocate. Angel, this weekend as a whole, you know, how would you describe it? What was it like? <laughs> It was fun. I mean, we kind of can see where our team is right now, um, how tough we are. We can't put our heads down because everything that we have been through this weekend. But again, I'm not going to make that an excuse. We're going to go back. We're going to rest up and have these, what, a week, week and a half to see where we're going to be placed for the um, NCAA tournament. So we're in a great place right now. We're going to look back and see what the mistakes we made, of course. But I think we're happy at where we're at right now. Corey? Angel, how can a tournament like this ju just prepare you guys for, for that next step? Yeah, I mean, SEC is what one of the best, if not the best conference in the country. And I think seven to eight teams should be in the tournament. There's so many teams that we faced this year that have held us tight or have beat us this year that should be in the tournament. So I'm happy for the SEC and where we're at right now. I think that helps build us to get ready to play these other teams in these other conferences. But I'm, I'm just proud of our team and where we're at right now to finish in the championship where last year we fell short to Tennessee and didn't get there. LSU as a program, we're happy at where we're at. Reed. Angel, do y'all feel fatigued at all? It's been three <laughs> games in three days and everything you sort of went through this weekend. I think my adrenaline is still going. Like, I can get another quarter. And I think a lot of us, if we have five more minutes, we wanted to go back out there and fight. I mean, this team has just been so relentless. All the adversity that we face, missing players, injuries, so many things has happened to us. Um, we, we, we can be tired, but we're not tired. And like I said, I think everybody would love to get another five minutes if we could. <laughs> Any other questions for Angel? All right. Thank, Thank you, you, Angel. Now we'll take questions for Coach Mulkey. Good job, baby. Good job. Chessa. Chessa with NBC in Baton Rouge. Coach Mulkey, in a game like that, I mean, where do you even start? What is going through your mind? All the things. 
they did exactly what I thought <clears throat> what I thought they would do. I got some champions out there. Guys, you got a kid with a gimpy ankle. You got two starters basically. Michaela got some minutes. She got cleared to get a few minutes. We're in a good spot. Angel is right. We're playing some pretty good basketball right now, and that's just the God's truth. They got a lot of depth. One kid basically hurt us today, and that was Full Wally. You look at the stats. How can you not leave here and go, God, I wish that the, the playoffs started next week. But uh, we'll have everybody back. Everybody's good to go. So the NCAA, you don't need to call me and ask if Michaela Williams is good. You don't need to ask me if Angel Reese is good. You don't need to ask me about Poa. She's only in uh, concussion protocol. We are playing our best basketball. Congratulations to South Carolina. Um, they made plays when we would cut the lead. Turnovers killed us today turnovers and um, it was very very physical Corey Kim I, forgive me I have to ask just what was your your vantage point of, of kind of what shook out there in the last couple of minutes of the game um, well let me say this Do you realize there was only one foul called on each team with two minutes to play in the fourth quarter? Are you kidding me? That might have created some of that. Not the way we play. We're going to foul your ass. Not the way they play. They're going to foul your ass. But you only blew that whistle one time? Think about that now. Flage, what I saw, intentionally fouled Full Wally because she stripped her. Great move because she's going to get a layup right there. And then some jawing went on with her and another player. And then the next thing I know, Cardoza just way later. And so I ran because somebody came out of the stands. I think it was Flage's brother trying to keep him, you know, from doing anything crazy. But that was all I know. I can't tell you from my bench how many left the court, obviously they saw it on film and said everybody had to go. And then I think one player for South Carolina didn't leave the bench. Um, but my question is, I don't really know the rules. Why weren't the coaches tossed if they left the bench? Wouldn't that be a hell of an ending? But I guess it's just the players that leave the bench area. I don't know. It's ugly. It's not good. Um, no one wants to be a part of that. No one wants to see, to, to see that ugliness. But I can tell you this, I wish she would have pushed Angel Reese. Don't push a kid, that you 6'8", don't push somebody that little. That, that was uncalled for in my opinion. Let those two girls that were jawing, let them go at it. Reed. Coach, just just to clear it up, will any of your players be suspended for the next game? Tournament? We didn't have any ejections. They had an ejection. They told me Cardoza was the only one ejected for fighting. And overall weekend, you know, what what did you think you learned from your team over this course this weekend? Pretty darn tough. Pretty darn tough. Resilient. Um, they have each other's back. Uh, didn't get rattled. Um, fought through some adversity with Poa's injury last night to even get to this point. And I'm sure everybody thought, oh, we're going to be tired. We're not going to be able to compete. They're going to blow us out. Well, I think you got a different answer today. That was a, a ball game out there today. Any other questions for Coach Mulkey? Corey. Kim, this team's ability to, to overcome not having last year and, and Angel dealing with, with her ankle issue and, and Michaela gutting out a, a foot issue and, and the myriad of other things, uh, 
for you as the coach, how much level of confidence and comfort does it give you when you're in this part of the season where the next game is going to be an NCAA tournament game and you're about to start that, that hopeful path of winning six straight games? I said, let's start playing tomorrow. I love where we are. I love where we are. We're not going to see South Carolina again unless we meet up in the Final Four. Um, so I feel like we'll get a good seed. We'll host the first and second rounds. And um, I feel great. I feel great. Any other questions? All right, thank you, Coach. Mm -hmm.